what's up guys this is a train xc 95m comfort link this is a modulating train furnace we've got a variable speed outdoor unit heat pump dual fuel setup homeowners complain on this we're down in the crawl space is that it's not transitioning from the heat pump to the furnace like it should uh, we did not install this system it's about seven years old um, went into the thermostat setup menu and none of his lockouts uh, for compressor or auxiliary were ever set up on this thing been disabled the entire time i also noticed while i was in there after i went ahead he wanted to set his lockout compressor lockout switch over at 40 degrees from the heat pump to the furnace which is pretty typical around here i noticed a lot of high limit faults in this thing which indicates to me with these modulating furnaces they pretty much run just like your your xv variable speed system modulating gas valve in this thing and we're going to go through and double check the pressures on it which the test menu and the gas pressure setup are right here i'll show you how to do that but this thing will range uh, when you go set the gas pressure on this once you've got it set you don't want to mess with it there's no checking it every time you come out and do a maintenance or anything like that check the thermostat if you don't have any alerts for limits you're good but you set the low range on it to 0.7 inches of water column and you're going to set the high range to 3.5 and this thing's going to modulate anywhere between those two gas pressures at, at any given time when it's running similar to what that compressor does in that variable speed system out there so i want to go through and uh, we're going to hook up to this I'll show you how you check and set your gas pressures on uh, the train modulating furnaces. All right, so we've got everything connected. You have one tap. That's the only one you need to use on this. Uh, there's not separate taps for first stage or high stage. It's right here. And then your adjustment for your high is there. Your adjustment for your low is actually right back here and it is missing the cap so i'll look around and see if i can find that before i leave I'm not seeing it anywhere on the unit i mean it doesn't make a huge difference but you want it on there unless it fell there it is right there yeah uh, somebody dropped it and couldn't find it so which tells me somebody's been playing with the gas pressure on it and you're not supposed to mess with the gas pressure. Once we, once we set these things up, when we install them, and we confirmed, or the first time we do a service call on one for somebody, and we take them on as a maintenance customer, it's a modulating furnace. Usually me or the other guy will come out, and we're going to run this thing through the test. We're going to make sure those pressures are set exactly where they need to be, 0 0.7, 3.5, and there's a certain way you have to do it, especially on the startup. And then once we get that done, we make that note. Unless there is a no heating call where there is an issue or a problem with limits or something like that, don't adjust, don't adjust this gas pressure. Because what happens is, <clears throat> just like the compressor and the blower in heat and cooling mode, they're ranging together, they're matching. Airflow with compressor speed does the same thing in heat. That gas pressure and that blower are matching each other so if you get that gas pressure set off and you get it set higher than it needs to be or you get it out of adjustment you may be burning hotter over here than what your airflow is being delivered and then you're going to start getting those limit faults so keep that in mind once this thing is set don't be going back and playing with it every time you do a maintenance unless unless there's a problem with the system running some kind of issue, no heat, whatever it is, then maybe you want to go in there and double check it. But for just doing a maintenance, don't mess with it. So let's get in here and do it. So what you do is you go in here, and I don't know how well you can see that, but we're going to scroll down to indoor unit test. So go up to unit test. 
And we're going to scroll simple test, gas valve setup test. Then I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to start. You got minimum and maximum. I'm going to start at maximum. Then I'll come back and hit the minimum. So as soon as I start this, confirm that you're sure that you want to do it. Hit yes. Now this thing's going to fire off on its own. And it's going to start running. And what happens is, on the, especially on the initial startup of the new unit, it's going to, it tells you to wait five minutes before you adjust your pressure. So what's going to happen is this thing's going to range and it's going to do a self-test of pressure switches, things like that. And then eventually it's going to ramp up and stabilize it where it needs to be. And then you just come down here at that point and adjust your pressure in. So anyway. Wait for this thing to fire off. It has fired off. So, and if you look there, it's reading kind of high. But uh, after it goes through that five minute process I'm talking about, this will stabilize back down to a, a lower number. And it'll do the same thing when we do the low test. But one, that's when once it goes through that five minutes then you see what your number is and then you adjust it high will be 3.5 low will be 0.7 so i'm not gonna make you sit here and watch the whole five minutes but uh we'll get the pressures adjusted on this thing because i'm thinking they're going to be off pretty good now real quick before you guys get all stupid on me start throwing the comments this guy is on LP, I just realized that. So that's why that pressure was so high when it started just a while ago. So I gotta wait for this thing to stabilize out. Then we're gonna set that gas pressure at 10. And I gotta get the book. I can't remember what the low setting is gonna be for LP gas, but we'll wait out this five minutes and then we'll get it set up and get it checked out in low stage and make sure all this is set right. So we've been running about six minutes, seven minutes. So now we're going to take this right here. And another thing I'll explain to you. It's not adjusting. see what our inlet pressure is because this thing is not letting me adjust but what I was going to explain they go in opposite directions one if you turn it to the right it increases left decreases the other one right in decreases and left increases so you got to keep your mind on that but you can check the inlet pressure on this thing it is not letting me Adjust this pressure at all. We're gonna turn it. Now it's coming down. Well, let me go back up now. It might have been stuck. Let's see how far I can get this thing to go up. LP <coughs> so he's gonna have to get the gas company or whoever he gets his gas from to come out probably check his regulator I mean I can check the incoming pressure on it it's not going above six nine point six I really need need to have about 13 inches incoming pressure on this thing to get that set right so we're gonna leave that where it's at for the time being, and we're going to check the low pressure. So I'm going to hit that, I'm going to end the test, and then I'm going to go in here and set it up for low. So while we're waiting for that blower to cycle down, I run the low test. Here's the chart in the book, and it shows you where to how to hook up and what to do. There's a two pages on checking the gas pressure in the book. So once you've got access to the book, pull it up online. 
it'll cover how to check the set your gas pressure in one of these modulating furnaces but it comes with your table right here so this is going to be for your natural gas if you look right there it tells you setting it up on the low side you're going to set it between 0.7 low and 3.5 high so the low test is 0.7 high is 3.5 and then when you do your lp gas you're going to set your lp at 2.1 and then 10.0 and then if you got a downflow upflow that kind of thing you know there'll be a little bit of difference but for the most part most everything you're going to see is 0 0.7 0 0.3.5 low to high for natural gas 2.1 to 10.0 on your uh lp so let's run this lp test real quick it's going to be about the same process We'll scroll down through here till we get to our yeah let me exit this I went into the wrong menu yes I'm sure it'll ask you four or five times if you're sure about doing something okay the so blower just cycled off so we're gonna go back down here to our test again unit test enter simple test gas test enter and then now we're going to switch over from maximum to minimum yes i'm sure and now it's going to start we're going to do the low stage test so it's going to come on it's going to fire off and then it's going to run at obviously a much lower pressure when it fires off this time and we're looking for a target on our low side setting, getting it stabilized at 0.7 inches of water column. So we should have an igniter coming on in there. Yep. Where's it at? Up top, right in there. Right. Just fire it off. Ooh. That's because it was real low. Well, actually not 0.7, we're looking for 2.1. I think we'll, we'll check that burner down there. So let's see where this stabilizes out at. And this is the one that can be our problem when you start getting the high limits. If the low pressure setting is set higher than it should be, then as this blower ramps and this valve ramps up, you're going to be burning hotter than you are the airflow being delivered to cool it down. And you'll start getting those nuisance high limit trips. So we'll let this thing run five minutes and we'll check it and we'll see where it stabilizes out at on our uh, low pressure setting. All right, guys, so we've been running about five minutes at this point in our low test stage and we now know we're working with lp and as you see right there on the chart it tells you when you do the gas pressure setup on this you're going to set your low stage test at 2.1 and then it's going to modulate anywhere between 2.1 and 10. if you got natural gas between 0.7 3.5 we got lp so our low stage setting should be 2.1 right now, and it's 3.3. So what that tells me, somebody messed with it, probably thought it was natural gas and set it at a regular gas pressure. Didn't know what they were looking at. But as far as all the high limit faults that have been populating the last so many nights, after a while they drop out. You could have been doing this for a long time. I don't know. Uh, it wasn't switching over very often because the lockouts as i said earlier weren't set up properly in the thermostat so we got 3.4 and you you hear how slow this blower's running and then whether you can see it or not i don't know it's running but uh it's running real slow 
so we're not delivering and luckily I've got the door off so it's pulling cooler air in here from the crawl space but we're burning hotter than our airflow is being delivered so this thing as it modulates and this runs up to you know five inches of water column and the blower matches that but it being set higher gas it's going to overheat because we're not matching our airflow and our gas speed like it's supposed to so 2.1 would match that current blower speed and then if it went from 2.1 to 3.5 the blower would ramp up for that right now we're running at 3.4 3.5 without the blower speed matching it at some point it's going to get too hot in there and it's going to and it just did so it just went out on high limit and that's what that fault is right there that's it so now i'm looking in these burners these burners are sitting in here a little bit see that coming off because this thing's been running the wrong gas pressure so Clean those up. The heat exchanger looks fine in there, but just a little bit. All right, guys, so I got that cleaned up and I'm going back into the test mode. So now we're 2.9. I've already made a little bit of adjustment. What I was telling you is they go opposite directions. So on your high, turning it clockwise increases counterclockwise decreases on the low clockwise decreases and counterclockwise increases so we're going to turn it counterclock or clockwise and you'll see it coming down and we want to get that set right here at about 2.1 Oop, went too far. There we go. Oop, a little bit more. There we go. Alright. A little bit more. Come on. Try not to overdo it. There we go. 2.11. That's good. So that's how you set gas pressures on these modulating furnaces. You don't just turn it on and start hooking up to it because you don't know where it's going to be between low low to high capacity range. You got to use this, go in the test mode, run your low stage test, set your high first before you set the low is the best way to do it. But uh, put it in high test, set it for 10 if it's LP, 3.5 if it's natural gas, then run your low test, and then set it at 0.7 if it's natural gas, 2.1 if it's LP. That's the only way you can set the gas pressures on these things. You do anything else, you're going to screw it up. So anyway, guys, appreciate you watching. Like, subscribe, and uh, go find you one of these and play on it. And then uh, go find a wall or a concrete column to beat your head against. Anyway, appreciate you watching, guys.